now, 2019's here, and you've got goals to accomplish. This workout and all the workouts found at e3shrink.com can help you get the results you want this year. You might find this workout a little intimidating. Not to worry, check the link in the description below to find more great workouts just like this to help get you started. Today's workout starts with a great warm up. We're gonna be doing a lat and shoulder mobility with leg swings. Use any upright support structure or wall. Engage the shoulder, stretching the lat while you do leg swings. This is gonna get blood flow to both of the circumduction joints while flexing the hips and extending the glutes. You'll do this on both sides for the reps listed. Once you're done with that, you're gonna start with your first group of exercises. We're gonna be doing a walkout push up, a reverse snow angel, and a body weight renegade row. So your walkout push up, real simple squat down, walk out, push ups. Easy as that. That's one rep. Your reverse snow angel, we're gonna be doing for time because you're focusing on engaging your lats and squeezing your arms in towards your body. You're doing your best to not fully hyperextend your lower back. Your last exercise is Renegade Row with a plank punch. So a Renegade Row typically would be on dumbbells where you're rowing each one from a plank position. Since we don't have that, we're going to throw in a punch to engage the shoulders and stretch your lats. Here's what that's going to look like. Engage your shoulder blades and row from this position, punch. Alternate hands, really work on engaging your shoulders by retracting, squeezing nice and tight. That's really going to build up the reverse snow angel and get a lot of great activity in your back. And all of a sudden, I've morphed over here for our second round of exercises. We're gonna be doing a single leg squat. Now that sounds intimidating, and it is, but in your case, you probably have a door at home you can use to stabilize yourself. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you here with our bathroom door. Hold on to your door handle, and one leg at a time, work on getting as low as you can into a single leg squat. You're gonna alternate that move doing both legs. Now that you've finished your single leg squats, you're going to be doing a reverse walking and lunge. Now that sounds intimidating, but we're going to pair it with a squat so that you're always stopping and restabilizing so you don't get too off balance. Start with a traditional reverse lunge, push back, step into a squat. You're then going to go back with that leg, push back into a squat again. You're going to continue this motion over and over until you start running out of real estate like I am. Once you do, start going the forward direction so that you can continue this motion for the reps and or time listed. Now that you've finished your reverse walking lunge squat, you're then gonna do two different types of bridges. Your first is a single leg bridge. You're gonna try your best to keep your thighs parallel while driving through only one heel at a time. Drive up, pause to the best of your ability, back down. You're gonna feel a lot of hamstrings because you only have one side of your glutes working. You're gonna follow that up with a traditional bridge, really working on squeezing your glutes, holding yourself up as high as you can for a minimum of two seconds for every rep. Once you've completed that, you're gonna rest. Your C group of exercises is gonna start with two core moves from the forearm plank position. So hop down in a traditional forearm plank, and you're gonna start with your hip dip plank. You're gonna rotate side to side, drop your hips as close to the floor as you can while still maintaining the integrity of your plank. When you're finished with that, you're gonna do a small army crawl, and this is your commando. It's only the distance that you can flex and extend your ankle. So you're gonna extend forward at the ankle joint, as you arm crawl forward, and then repeat as you go into flexion, trying not to drive your hips up in the air. Easy as that. Today's finisher is going to combine two moves that you've seen before. We're going to be doing a bear roll into a crab reach. Let's start with the bear. The bear position is on all fours, trying to keep your back flat. The bear roll is where we're rolling from the bear position into the crab position. So as we do this, we're going to jump into a big overhead reach, and then back down, and then roll back, going your other direction, reaching with the other arm. This is a ton of work on your core, lower back, hips, and just about every part of your body. And we're gonna be trying to do this for 60 seconds, over and over. And as you can tell, I'm slowly getting out of breath. So this one's really gonna finish off your workout and end in things on a high note. We hope that you're able to use this workout to head toward your 2019 goals. If you are, let us know by giving us a like, a comment, or a share. And let us know how we can help you guys in the future. Thanks.